At 18, Jimmy lost his mother, who was the only family he had, along with his younger sister Susan. However, while going through his mother's possessions, he stumbled upon a photo of his neighbor, which led him to uncover an unknown and important part of his family he never knew existed. Jimmy was raised by his single mother, Lily, who instilled kindness in him. Despite having a low-paying job, Lily did her best to provide for her two children, Jimmy and Susan, on her own. Despite the financial struggles, things took a turn for the better for Lily when Jimmy received a scholarship to attend a prestigious school in another state. Lily was overjoyed and incredibly proud of her son's accomplishment. Jimmy, who deeply loved and wanted to support his mother, had worked hard to earn the scholarship. One day, when Jimmy was only 18 years old, his mother suddenly passed away from an unknown illness. Jimmy was utterly devastated and worried even more for his sister, who was only four years old at the time. Having no other family to count on, Jimmy decided to leave school to find a job so he could look after Susan. He moved back home and started looking for a job, fully taking on the role of his sister's guardian. And so, Jimmy got a job as a waiter at a local restaurant and looked after his sister. Jimmy would always assure his sister, it's just you and me now, princess. I know it doesn't seem like much of a family, but we'll be all right. One day, Jimmy was sorting out some of his mother's stuff, seeing what they keep and what they donate to charity. As he went through one of her drawers, he saw an old picture of his mother with a man. Weirdly, Jimmy recognized the man. It was his neighbor, Aid. Could that really be him? He thought. However, the picture was fairly old and he couldn't be sure. As he continued going through his mother's things, he came across a couple of other pictures of his mother and this man, including one of the dudes standing next to each other, holding Jimmy as a baby. Jimmy flipped the photo over and saw a message at the back that proved his suspicions. It read, To my beloved Lily, a long memory from Ed. Jimmy was confounded by this discovery and decided to get to the bottom of it and question Ed himself. He headed to Ed's house, and as he knocked on the door, a million thoughts rushed through his mind. Did my mother and Ede have a history? And if so, why had they never mentioned anything, Jimmy thought. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. As he stood at the door knocking, he began to consider how crazy all this was. Even if they did have some deep hidden history, where would Jimmy even start? In a state of panic, Jimmy turned around, ready to leave. Jimmy? A voice said as the door opened. Still with his back to the door, Jimmy began to well up. He turned to Ed, walked up to him, and without a word, he handed Ed the pictures. Ed turned pale, stunned, as he looked at the picture in his hand. Please come in, Ed said. It's time you learned the whole truth. Ed made coffee in the kitchen while Jimmy anxiously sat at the dining room table wondering what the man had to say. He remembered his sister, Susan, mentioning that he had been around at the house while Jimmy was at school, but he didn't think much of it at the time. But now, here were these pictures, and judging from Ed's reaction, he definitely had a story to tell. As Ed approached him with the coffee, Jimmy began to regret coming to confront him. I have to go, I shouldn't have come here, Jimmy said, readying to leave. No, Jimmy, please, it's time we talk, Ed insisted. I can't. Jimmy said, heading for the door. I'm your father, Jimmy. I knew in Susan's father. That was a picture taken shortly after your birth. It's time you learned the whole truth, Ed confessed. Jimmy could not believe what he was hearing. He felt as if his knees were about to give up on him. He reached for the nearest chair and sat down as Ed brought him his coffee, pulling a chair for himself from the dining room table. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. After your birth, your mother and I broke up because our relationship got ugly. We didn't communicate for a long time, not until you left for school. We thought we'd give it another try, but things didn't work again, Ed confessed, tearing up. All this time? And you never said anything? Jimmy retorted. Believe me, I wanted to reach out to both you and Susan. But after the second breakup, your mother forbade me from seeing you both. I tried to stay as close to you as possible. So I moved in next door, but kept my distance, Ed said. And when were you planning on telling us all this? Huh? Jimmy said, getting frustrated. 
You just lost your mother. I thought I'd give it a little time before dropping it on you. I'm sorry, that was selfish of me. There's just, there's no formula to this kind of thing, you know? I messed up, Ed said. After Jimmy broke down, Ed hugged him tightly and they both shed tears. Eventually, Ed took in both Jimmy and Susan and they formed a familial bond. He deeply regretted not being involved in their lives earlier, but now felt fulfilled and content that they were a family once more.